Hello, Tov. Good evening. I'm uh, back on air. Most of this broadcast will be in Hebrew, my language, but some of it will also be in English. Um, well, we are in Gezi Park. Uh, people are still waiting here. Seems quite happy, but waiting here for the police attack. Some people that understand the thing or two here are saying that the attack will probably not going to happen before 4 or 5 a.m., which is about five hours from now. But people are waiting there. Soon we'll get to the to the square, and I'll show you the crowd there. And five minutes ago, when I left there, people were standing there, hand by hand, a great human chain of solidarity and a beautiful present uh, presentation of uh, non-violence, non-violent, sorry non-violent resistance I'm sorry that it's dark here I'm you know I'm having a small flash and I'm actually not turning it on because uh, unless I'm interviewing somebody from about a meter this flash is not really effective oh but we'll get into some more lighted areas soon. I will also remind you our chat, you can talk to us, you can write to us, I mean, and write us and we'll try to answer. Shalom, let me say it in Hebrew. Shalom le tsofeinu b'Yisrael, peilot v'peilei ha-mechaa, sh'tsofim b'anu d'arach chadar ha-matsa v'jar ba-yisrael. גזי פארק מחכה לתקיפת משטרה ולפינוי שכפי הנראה יקרה לפנות בוקר. הופה. בואו נראה איך זה נראה עכשיו. היי אבריבדי. מי נאמי זה אבי, אני אבי ישראלי אקטיביסט. פארט אוף ישראלי מובמנט אוף social justice and the revolution and uh, I'm here because I was quite impressed of what I saw at, back at home and I decided to come and stream it to you guys the situation here is quite peculiar in one hand it stands the first you know people are expecting uh, an attack everybody are well defended by, you know, they're wearing helmets, they use, you know, those glasses that protect the eyes, they're using gas masks, but in the other hand, people are happy, they're looking forward for, you know, to resist and to uh, maybe write another beautiful chapter in the history of the modern Turkey. Defending the democracy, the freedom of speech, the secularism. <laughs> Once again, I'm sorry that sometimes it will be a little bit dark. I will be switching from back and forth from Hebrew to English. We are in the square at the top of uh, Taksim Square and Gezi Park. I mean, I'm at Gezi Park. Just in front of me is a square. At the end of the square, there are stairs going down to Taksim Square. There are plenty of people there as well, but let's see here some Kurdish dancing, traditional dancing. It's part of the beautiful thing that is happening here during those two weeks. Turkey is kind of rediscovering the 
uh, ethnicity and the uh, most the faces it has. No, I haven't seen Vlad. Uh, somebody's asking me if I've seen Vlad. Uh, Vlad is another streamer that is streaming here. Uh, I've seen him, but earlier this evening, I haven't seen him in the last hour, or an hour and a half, so no. Wait, I'll try to put on some flash. People are not happy with the flesh, so I'll turn it off. But look, it's quite amazing, you know, the police is about to attack soon. And look, people are dancing and they're happy. They're dancing, but... You know, don't make a mistake, it's all political. They're saying something. Now with my flesh off, and could you please tell me if, if it's bearable? I mean, can you see something, even if it's not too too lighted, lightened? I'm shooting them from their backs because of the sensitivity here. You know, the relationships of the Turks with the national media is pretty bad recently. People are feeling betrayed by the media presenting them in a very negative way, censoring stuff and... Uh... Let me say some words in Hebrew as well. שלום לכם צופינו הישראלים שקצת סובלים מזה שאני משדר היום במודע, אה, במודעות לזה שיש כאן, שרוב הצופים שלנו הערב הם לא ישראלים ולכן אנחנו אה, לא יכולים להתעלם מזה ולשדר רק בעברית זה עושה קצת טאץ' אחר, פחות אישי לחלק מהשידור, אני מודע לזה משלמים את המחיר אתם יכולים אה, להסתכל ככה בתגובות בצ'אט ולראות שהרבה מהתגובות הן באנגלית, הן לא מהארץ Yeah, so this is what we're seeing here. Let's go see some other stuff. Another thing I'm not using now is my hotspot, and I have a problem with it written right now. I'll try to fix it. The SIM card is not in its place from some reason, and I cannot fix it. Um, so right now I'm using my 3G. Uh, the quality is a little bit lower. Well, um, כן, מיכאל, לשאלתך, אני משדר, מדבר באנגלית גם כי צופים בנו דרך הערוץ שלנו וגם כי עושים לנו מירורינג. Uh, הערוץ שנקרא איסטנבול ריבולט Uh, הוא ערוץ ש... של חברינו הסטרימרים פה שעושים עבודה מצוינת שהיא לא רק של לשדר כמוני אלא גם ארגון מאוד יפה של השידורים uh, יושב בחור עם uh, מחשב, מין גאון מחשבים כזה, יש לו מחשבים בכלל מחוץ לאיסטנבול, מחשב באיזמיר, מחשב במדריד, כל מיני דברים כאלה והוא שם uh, מתקתק דברים, מפעיל אותם דרך הסלולרי שלו, דואג כל פעם uh, לעשות מסך מפוצל עם תמונות אחרות וככה לנסות uh, לגוון את השידור עם כל מיני מקורות וגם איתנו אז uh, חלק מהצופים שלנו הם שם, חוץ מזה גם uh, ביקשו ממני הערב uh, להודיע בטוויטר uh, עם האשטג מיוחד לערב שאני משדר והרבה מהצופים שלנו אני חושב הצטרפו בגלל ההאשטג הזה והם לא מכאן אז צריך גם להתייחס אליהם 
Somebody is asking if I'm having a mask. Yeah, I do have a mask. I'm not right now. I'm not wearing it, but it's nearby. I'm sorry for the darkness. Well, you know. But look, we're getting close to the end of the park. What you're gonna see uh, soon. Uh, and again, I will not be able to, I guess I will not be able to turn on the flash because people are really sensitive and they're very kind of suspicious about it. And I don't want to feel, you don't want to feel the hostility. It's not fair. So, um, thank you guys for the, you know, for the solidarity. I'll pass it through to the Turks I'm gonna meet. Me, myself, I'm not a Turkish, I'm an Israeli. I'm shooting here, I mean, I'm streaming here, and uh, well, it's pretty dark here, but if it wasn't dark, you would have seen a barricade. Maybe I'll turn on the flash for a second, hope they won't be too... You see, there's a barricade over here, it doesn't really help a lot, but you see some of it. See, the flash is not really effective if it's not, you know, beating the object in well, two meters or so. Yeah, anyway. Um, so people are standing there at the top of the barricade it just built and, uh, you know, calling and uh, shouting and singing and waving with their flags. Most of them are wearing helmets. Some of them using masks. Uh, let's try to get closer, maybe we'll see something. Hi, Boaz. Shayla Tova, you asked. Boaz, from Tel Aviv, you asked us if it's a big deal in the world. באמת שאלה גדולה, אני לא יודע לענות עליה כל כך, זאת אומרת, האמת שזה יותר לא דומה מאשר דומה. אני לא ראיתי התקוממות כזאת בארץ. יש דברים שהם מרשים לעצמם לעשות, שאצלנו אנחנו כנראה ילדים טובים מדי, זה משהו במסורת, בחינוך, ב, לא יודע, בתרבות שלנו. אני לא מכיר, לא יכול לדמיין מצב שאנחנו פתאום נרים בריקדות. אף פעם זה לא קרה ואני לא בטוח שיקרה. יש פה גם איזו נחישות ו... לא יודע, שבדרך כלל פוגשים אותה רק אצל ציבורים שממש אין להם מה להפסיד, אנשים שככה הולכים ויודעים שוואלה, יכול להיות שאני אהרג הערב, בסדר. אז uh, פוגשים פה דברים כאלה שהם די מדהימים, כי האנשים שיש פה הם אנשים uh, מאוד איכותיים. זאת אומרת, uh, כאילו אנשים אידיאולוגיים, אנשים uh, עם uh, אופקים ככה, מחשבה רחבה. Uh, אז בהרבה מובנים זה לא דומה למה שרואים בארץ. אגב, בארץ גם רואים, עכשיו חושך, אני לא מדליק מפלגה, גם אם הייתי מדליק זה לא היה עוזר, אבל רגע, אני אתמקם במקום יותר טוב. מדי פעם שומעים פה קולות נפץ קטנים כאלה, אבל זה לא ברור לי מה זה, כי המתקפה לא באמת התחילה. Guys, I'll uh, translate a um, viewer from Israel, ask me, I'm an Israeli as I told you, if what we're seeing here is... Reminding in a way something of what is happening in Israel in demonstrations or you know in confrontations with the police And I've just answered him that I think no, I think not. I mean there is something here that is more tough more uh, ready to fight and uh, I think it's also an outcome of a Long tradition of struggles here I don't know much about the history of modern Turkey and the politics here, I mean, not that much, but, um, you know, they have, wait, I'll look for the right word in English, I forgot it. Uh, um, Oh yeah, I, I wanted to say that they have their unions, you know, the workers' unions, and uh, they're pretty much strong here, and they have a tradition of revolt and uh, paying the price when it's needed, and uh, I don't know, it's also different because I think that in Israel, um, in a way there is, or at least that's what they make us uh, feel, there is an outside threat, you know, of the surrounding countries, and they're always telling us, you know, if you revolt too much, we'll be weak, and as we are weak, become, as we become weak. 
they will attack us. <laughs> I'm saying it the first cynically, but uh, maybe it's a good reason uh, for many people not to revolt that much. Or, but let's get back to Turkey because we are here and we're talking about here. Yeah, and one of our uh, readers is uh, from Israel is writing us, and I think he's right that uh, it is uh, quite the same, uh, not quite the same. I mean, I mean, it is reminding the way uh, the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, is uh, attacking or uh, treating the demonstrations in the occupied territories. There, there is no right of uh, assembling and right of uh, the right to. Uh, um, demonstrate any demonstration is uh, suppressed immediately by gas, by uh, kind of violence, and uh, the buzz. Uh, oh shit! Oh, these are uh, fireworks, actually. You see, it's a celebration. We're waiting for the police, and look what's going on here. חברים, זה היה זיקוקי דינור, אתם קולטים את זה? כאילו עומדים פה ומחכים למתקפת משטרה ויש פה זיקוקי דינור Last time I was there, people were doing a very nice human chain just in front of the police in a non-violent resistance presentation. Uh, well, let's see what's... I'm sorry that it's dark. Huh? <laughs> We'll get into the square, there will be more light. Um, let's see. Well, the police is standing there with their, you know, wearing helmets and uh, using their shields. And uh, from what I see, everybody are wearing their shields now. That means that maybe something is closed. Uh, in our side, people are also starting to wear their helmets. Uh, I'm going to wear mine. Let's put my glasses on my eyes. Shalom lachem, achim v'achayot ekarim v'ma'al ar lozorov. Arbe ahava. יש הרבה מה ללמוד מכאן, אני לא יודע אם דווקא, אתם יודעים, את ה... אה, לא יודע, זאת אומרת, לנו יש את הסגנון שלנו, ישראל זה ישראל וטורקיה זה טורקיה, אבל יש הרבה מה ללמוד מכאן, סולידריות, ארגון, אה, דברים אחרים, אה, הרבה דברים ששידרתי והראיתי בימים שהייתי כאן, ונוכל עוד לדבר עליהם גם כשאגיע הביתה. No, uh, so three, uh, I, I see that the policeman, the police is still standing there, nothing. Oh, look, look, I want to show you the human chain, a beautiful human chain here. But let me put on the flesh. Hold on. Yeah, look at it. Beautiful, hold on. A beautiful human chain. I'll shoot them. Sorry? Just look at it, beautiful. Look, so beautiful. You see a human chain, a very nice one. Hi. Hi. Hey, hey amen. Look at this. A beautiful presentation of non violent resistance. Well, they're doing it.
And you can see. Okay. Okay. Amen. Okay. You see, some people are not really happy with us shooting them, but see, people are sitting down here also. Well, you cannot see because it's dark. Well, there are groups of people sitting or standing all over the square. Many of them are concentrated near the stairs from both sides of the barricade I told you about because you couldn't see, it was dark, remember? Let's talk some Hebrew. I feel that I'm neglecting my uh, Israeli friends in Israel. Look. תודה אבי קט, אם הייתי יודע בזמן אמת שמישהו אמר לי תצלם אותי, הייתי נשאר ומצלם אותו, חשבתי שהוא אומר לי אל תצלם אותי, ואז כמובן עפתי משם. Some people are calling now טייפ וסטיפה, which means טייפ for ג'יפ ארדואן, resign. אני אשתף אתכם בינתיים בעברית, שאני מתלבט קצת לגבי החזרה שלי לארץ, מתי. האמת שחשבתי להגר לכאן ולקבל סל קליטה, סתם, אני צוחק. אבל הופה, תראו איזה יופי, עולה לכאן קצת ציוד, ואנשים עוברים כאן. אני לא יודע מה עולה לכאן, אבל זה מושך תשומת לב. Guys, I'm not using the flesh too much today because I really don't like to get too much attention. But now there's a flash of somebody else who's screaming here or shooting here. So we're a little bit using it. בקיצור, רציתי להגיד שאני מתלבט קצת לגבי תאריך החזרה לישראל, דחיתי אותו מיום שני למחר, ואני קצת בהתלבטות, נראה, זה כמובן גם קשור למה יהיה כאן בלילה ומה יישאר. אני משתף ככה שאני מרגיש שאני לומד פה הרבה. גם זו אחלה למידה להשתלמות מקצועית מעולה של סטרימינג. יש פה סטרימרים מעולים, אנחנו עובדים פה עם חבורה באמת מקסימה, ואני לומד פה המון, נחשף לדברים שעוד לא השתמשנו בהם. ושנית, אני חושב שאני גם לומד פה המון מהפכה, באמת, דברים שהם מרתקים ברמה האישית ומספקים מאוד, וגם ברמה של הלמידה שאולי, מי יודע, יום אחד גם תעבור הלאה. אז מכל הבחינות האלה ככה קצת לא מתחשק לי לחזור מהר מדי, קצת בהתלבטות אם לא להאריך ביום יומיים, אבל נראה, אנחנו נראה בהתאם להתפתחויות. אוקיי, אנחנו מתחילים לאנגלית, אני חוזר קצת לאנגלית, ושוב, נצטרך קצת סבלנות מצד הצופים בארץ, אני יודע שהכי כיף זה כשאנחנו משדרים לעצמנו בתחושה משפחתית כזאת בעברית. היום קצת נפלו עלינו הרבה צופים מחו"ל, ובגלל שהם משתמשים בשידור שלי, גם להעביר אותו בעוד ערוצים שבהם אפשר יהיה לראות אותו, ושם יש צופים לא מהארץ. זהו. מיכאל, לא בטוח שזה יעזור, סטדי קאם, כי הבעיה פה היא השימוש בטכנולוגיית סלולר שגורמת להקפיצות, אני לא בטוח שאני כזה לא יציב, אבל... ואני צריך להיות מודע לעשות תנועות פחות מהירות עם המצלמה. אוקיי, אז אני מבטיח להתחיל קצת לתת אנגלית. אז חברים, We are here at Taksim Square, the center of Istanbul, modern Istanbul, and uh, people are waiting, but look, once they're waiting, here as well as we saw up there uh, a few minutes ago, there is a beautiful circle of people dancing, traditional, I think it's Kurdish, once again, Kurdish dancing. It's really interesting, because I don't know if you know, but uh, Turkey was, you know, Turkey was, modern Turkey was established by Ataturk, He was the, I would say, the father, the big father of modern Turkey. And he was establishing a very secular, nationalist country, trying to erase any differences. You know, Turkey is combined from many groups, Armenians, uh, Kurds, Jews, um, Greeks, Albanians, and many others. And 
he wanted to actually create a new Turkish person that is Turkish, speaks Turkish, learn Turkish, and uh, trying to get rid of all those differences that are not good for, you know, the nation. So, therefore, uh, until recently, I think the change was only in the recent few years, people were not allowed to speak Kurdish, for example, in the public area. And uh, I think that in schools, I'm not sure about learning this, the, the language at schools, but presenting any culture in uh, public area was also forbidden. I mean, culture, Kurdish culture. And now I think these, these things are changing, and here it's really nice that some groups that are usually uh, suppressed or they're less uh, presented in the, uh, you know, in TV or in places where people watch them in the streets, even uh, here in camp. Uh, those things are changed and you know the LGBT people are uh, um, presenting themselves very nicely and getting very nice feedbacks many people here joining the dances of the uh, Kurdish people although some others are against it because they say they're separatists you know they're trying to separate themselves from the what is called the uh, Turkish society אני מבין שיש דרישה לדברים בעברית בשביל יומן הבוקר או משהו? אני לא קולט את זה בדיוק. אם כן תכתבו לי, אני אדבר בעברית. אוקיי, אז למה לא מספרים לי? קצת הנחיות, מה אתם צריכים? ננסה לספק את הסחורה? אוקיי, אז סיכום קצר לטובת מאזיננו הדוברי העברית. אנחנו נמצאים בכיכר תקסים עכשיו, וגם ככה לחילופין בפארק גזי. מצפים כאן הערב למתקפה של השוטרים שמתכוונים, ככה כולם אומרים פה, לכבוש את הפארק, זאת אומרת לשחרר אותו, לגרום לתופעה הזאת של השבועיים האחרונים של עיר אוהלים ומחאה פשוט להיפסק. למרות שראש הממשלה ארדואן הבטיח לפני מספר ימים שאם המפגינים יפנו את הכיכר ויפתחו את הדרכים החסומות שהיו כולן מלאות בבריקדות, הוא יאפשר להם לפי שעה להמשיך ולשהות בפארק, למרות שהוא בפירוש אמר שהוא גם לא יבטל את תוכנית הבנייה של הקניון, שהיא הייתה הסיבה המיידית לפרוץ ההפגנות האלה כאן לפני כשבועיים. בקיצור, למרות ההבטחה הזאת שלו, נערכים פה לפריצה. היה כאן איזשהו מסע של דה-לגיטימציה בימיים האחרונים, מתוכנן די טוב אני חושב, כשגם uh, uh, ראש עיריית איסטנבול אתמול בלילה דיבר בכלי התקשורת ואמר שכל מי שנמצא בפארק עכשיו הם חורשי רע וחוליגנים והוא ידע איך לטפל בהם uh, וזה כמובן איזושהי דרך להכין את דעת הקהל לאקט uh, אלים משטרתי של דיכוי של חופש הביטוי, זכות ההפגנה והרצון של אנשים צעירים כאן, כמו בהרבה מקומות בעולם, להשפיע על העתיד שלהם ולקחת את טורקיה למקום שמתאים כנראה להרבה מהאזרחים שלה, שמרגישים לא מיוצגים אה, ולא נספרים מאז אה, ביסס ארדואן את שלטונו בשנים האחרונות והם טוענים לדיקטטורה. ומה שקורה כאן הערב זה די מקסים. אנשים מצד אחד, מקסים ואולי גם קצת הזוי, כי מצד אחד יש פה שמחה והתפרצות של אנרגיות מקסימות לאורך כל הערב, שירה, אנשים פה מציעים אוכל אחד לשני בחינם, אתם יודעים, דוכנים פה שפורסים פה, עושים פה פריסות כמו בצבא עם אוכל נפלא, משלימים אחד לשני ציוד כדי שכולם יהיו ערוכים, מצחיקים אחד את השני, רוקדים, שרים, קוראים קריאות פוליטיות, מתגרים קצת במשטרה כדי שיאללה יאללה, אנחנו לא מפחדים מגז, לא מפחדים משום דבר 
ובעצם מחכים, ל... מחכים ל... לפריצה שיודעי דבר אומרים שהיא אולי תקרה לקראת בוקר ולמרות המתח הרב שאפשר להרגיש אותו כאן אפשר להרגיש גם, כמו שאמרתי, שמחה יש כאן מופעים מאוד יפים של שרשרת אנושית למשל שעומדת כאן כבר שעה מול השוטרים ומציגה איזשהו ביטוי להתנגדות לא אלימה יש כאן... הנה תשמעו, 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 בואו נתקרב ותשמעו את זה שרים, זה לא, לא ככה מתנהגים בדרך כלל כשמחכים למתקפה של משטרה וזה אני מתכוון כשאני אומר שיש פה כמה דברים באמת מעוררי השראה וואי, חושך פתאום זהו, מעבר לזה האמת שאנשים התמגנו כאן היטב, יש פה עלייה ברמה של ההתמגנות. דיברתי קודם עם פעיל טורקי שאמר לי שאיפה, לפני שבועיים כשהכל התחיל כאן לא היה לנו כלום, היה לנו אולי מסכת גז לבנה כזאת פשוטה שקונים בבית מרקחת, לאף אחד לא היו משקפיים להגן על עצמו, לאף אחד לא היו מסכות גז, לאף אחד בוודאי לא הייתה קסדה, הרבה אנשים נפגעו מפגיעות ראש של כינון ישיר של רימוני גז, שהרימונים עצמם, החומר עצמו כמובן לא אמור לגרום למוות אבל, או לפגיעה קשה בראש, אבל התרמילים, התרמילים עצמם או הגוף המתכת שעף ופוגע בראש, מכל הגז עצמו גרם לפגיעות מאוד קשות ועכשיו אנשים פה מאוד ערוכים, והנה אני לא יודע למה אתם רואים, עובר כאן מישהו באלונקה אני לא בדיוק יודע להסביר מה קרה, יכול להיות שהוא רק התעלף, יכול להיות שהיה כאן איזה משהו בקצה שפספסנו קצת חשוך כאן עוד שאלות מכל ישראל, אני אנסה ככה לתת לכם שירות מיוחד, אני לא יודע, אני היום לא, אחרי שעתיים, אחרי יומיים, לא הרבה שעות שינה ועכשיו כבר קצת עייף, אז כנראה שקשה לי לדבר בצורה מסודרת, יצטרכו אולי לקחת משפטים ולחבר. בכל אופן, עכשיו ככה קצת רגוע, היו כאן שעות יותר מתוחות קודם לכן בערב, באזור שבע בערך, שבע, שמונה, אנשים ציפו שהמתקפה תתחיל ממש תוך דקות, והיה כאן ממש מין סוג של מתח כזה במחנה, כולם ככה אה, התמגנו, עמדו כבר מוכנים עם הקסדות על הראשים, עם המסכות על העיניים, עם ה... הרבה אנשים כאן רכשו אה, בימים האחרונים אה, מסכות גז כאלה רציניות. אה, וככה זה היה נראה, ולאט לאט ככה, כשראו שזה לא מגיע, משהו במתח טיפה ירד, אבל אל תטעו, זה כנראה יקרה הלילה, הם לא סתם עומדים כאן, וכפי הנראה זה יקרה עם שחר, בשעה שכולם ככה כבר עייפים, וכוח ההתנגדות יורד, וכו' וכו'. מזל שזה רדיו ולא טלוויזיה, חברינו בכל ישראל, כי מבחינת התמונות די גרוע כאן עכשיו, חשוך נורא, ואני לא ממש מתקרב לאנשים, ואז לא רואים כל כך הרבה דברים. אבל בואו נראה קצת... היי גייס, כן היי? כן היי? לא פרובלם, אוקיי. כן, טוב, טוב. אני מישראל, אבל אנחנו מסתכלים על אנשים בעולם. אתם רואים שאנשים מסתכלים עלינו, למשל, עכשיו כמו שאתם רואים שאתם מסתכלים עלינו, והם מכל העולם, אז אם אתם רוצים לומר משהו, זה לא וידאו, 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 זה לא So, Hi Ali, we're, I, I'm, I'm streaming it now live and people are watching us in yes, some yes. countries and if you want to say something, who Our are you? Our struggle has started nearly, it is not, it, it, it hasn't ended. Yeah. Tayyip Erdogan is the dictator and people struggle with getting him down. Uh, Western imperialism has 
Frank, uh, created a monster just like Frank Ashton, and now they are starting to see what kind of person he is. But we Turkish people are going to fight against him and uh, protect our republic and uh, independence of our country and territorial integrity of our country. All these people here you can see, if the police doesn't come here, if the cops doesn't come here, if the fascist dictator doesn't intervene, we are all happy here, nothing, nothing yeah, happens, nobody amazing. stabs anyone. Uh, people play piano, people play guitars, and this is a, if this is going to be a free country, everywhere should be like this, and so Tayyip Erdogan should uh, get away from, uh, uh, from our country to any other country, yeah. or his end will be like, Grab that or anyone else, okay? Yeah, and I want to tell you, wait, 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 don't go. I just want to tell you, see, we have some uh, chat here. People are writing to us, so I'll just write to you, so I re uh, read to you some of the things. People are saying, we're watching you and we support you strongly. Thank you for this, uh, I mean, you know, it's inspiring and stuff. Yeah. We are, uh, you are an example for the world now. Yeah. Thanks and things like that. People yeah. are really inspired by, by yeah. that. People should see that people's powers cannot be stopped. Uh, democracy is not only elections. Someone cannot start up a dictatorship uh, by using elections. Hitler uh, came with elections also. We are going to uh, protect our secularism. And uh, Turkish people has shown that our people's movement can start without the help of imperialists and uh, uh, other kind of interventions. And we are going to make our country independent like Mustafa Kemal Atatürk's time. Yeah. But uh, I guess he's that, our Che Guevara, he's our Castro. Yeah, okay. but you know, I mean, you're talking about uh, nationalism, about the way, you know, the, c continuing the way of uh, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, yes. the founder of the modern Turkey. But I guess not all everybody, you know, I, I've been spending a week in the camp and not everybody is uh, really happy with that idea. I mean, some, some, some people would like to see a different uh, solution to this. Yes, the, uh, this is a democracy. People can have uh, other ideas also. But now we are united against Tayyip Erdogan's dictatorship, which is supported by imperialism. So we don't have any problem with people who think other things. But if Turkey is the only country who can uh, have a, such a modern life yeah. and such a uh, culture in the third world, Muslim countries, yeah. it's because of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. Even people who are against Mustafa Kemal Atatürk uh, owe that to him, uh, that there is this kind of democracy. But Tayyip Erdogan is getting rid of this kind of democracy. and showing himself as a Democrat, fighting against, uh, because he had an agenda against secularism and the Republic, he got Western powers support. Yeah. Uh, their only idea was their own interests, Middle East interests, and Tayyip Erdogan served uh, them up to the, uh, today. But they, now they should see that he cannot uh, rule this country anymore. And we, if they uh, want to support Tayyip Erdogan, it is better for us. We are going to get rid of Tayyip Erdogan anyway, and after that we are going to have an independent and revolutionary country. Okay, and okay. I, one, once again I want to tell you that people are sending hello and uh, from Washington, from North Carolina, from North Carolina, from Canada, from Israel, from many places, and uh, we wish you luck, you know, you are a great inspiration for many people in the world now. Yes, yes, thank you very much. Thank you guys, good luck. Okay, uh, thank you. We just heard an interview with uh, with a camelist. Uh, you know, camelist is uh, after the name of Kamal Atatürk. They believe in a solution of uh, nationalism, of one country, one nation, one language. And as we seen just a few minutes before, there are some people here who believe in ethnicity and multiculture, multi-language. But as you said, it's a democracy. Um, let's see. No. I become a little bit more brave than I was before. Maybe I'll ask some people to talk with me. <laughs> as I see, they're not really hostile now. <laughs> No, they're good. Don't 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 get me wrong. I mean, but you know, the relationship with the Turkish media recently has deteriorated. People are really pissed it off. Oh, somebody is playing live piano up there, and people are joining and singing. It's quite amazing. This is really beautiful. Wow! Listen to that. Just listen to this, and Allah will give you a lot of 
בן אדם למעלה ומנגן עכשיו בפסנתר שהביאו לפה למעלה, חיברו אותו לחשמל ואנשים שרים איתו שירים. I don't see the piano because it's far away, but we're all listening to it. Yeah. Never seen such a thing in my life, I must tell you that. Because I'm really cool, Sandel Kanaf, and I'm writing us that this song is about Turkish martyrs. It's so beautiful to see the people here. Look at them. מדהים, מדהים, מדהים. This is unbelievable, and people are asking for some more pieces. And the cat from Israel is writing us, she's a Jewish who made an aliyah, she's immigrated to Israel, and she's writing me here, but it reminds her the turkey, the old good turkey that she knows and missing so much. Yeah, very nice. Would you like to? Would you like to? I'm from Israel and I'm uh, doing... Uh, no, no, I'm from Israel. Yeah. Would you like to say something? Maybe? Would you like to say something? Yes. Okay, hello. Hello. Sorry for the light, but this is amazing what happened here. I mean, we're waiting for uh, an attack of the police and people are listening to music and singing here. It's unbelievable. I'm sorry for the light, but... Uh, yeah. yeah, I know, it's a problem, but... But look at me, look at me instead of the... What do you say, man? It's beautiful. Israeli uh, Yeah. What do you say? I'm from Israel. Yeah, but people are watching us now not only from Israel but from many places in the world through the internet. Okay? Yeah, you see? Now we have 75 viewers and people are joining and going and they're writing their replies here. It's all live. Yes. Okay? So what? what? It's beautiful. I look near you. Yeah. You're freedom. fighting for your freedom. freedom. Yeah. Another world. We want another world. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. Yeah. World, public and friends. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Okay, the light is disturbing. Somebody from California is writing love from California. Yeah, yeah, now. Everything is now. Really? Yeah, really. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. This is so amazing. I don't know who's going to win this morning, but I know who's going to win eventually.
We're uh, broadcasting it to the world now. People are watching through the internet. Yeah, okay. You want to say something? Which country is from? I'm from Israel, but the viewers are from all over the world. Yeah, okay. Okay? Uh, so, I mean, obviously, what well, we are here is uh, not just to protect trees over here. Uh, it's just something about we're against the government's idea at the moment because, because uh, they just start to get removed uh, our freedom. So instead of uh, you know, just protecting the trees over here, yeah. next to this we are trying to uh, say that there is no need to get involved our freedom, so we can live as long uh, as what we want to, so we should be free as people all around the world. That's what but I how come say. you're not, I mean, I, I'm really, you know, inspired by the way that you are not afraid now, you know, the police is here, they're about to attack and people are doing music now, it's amazing. We're singing Bella Ciao. <laughs> well, you know, it's, our feelings are so pushed down, so uh, there's some passion points of people, so we just come to here, and no, no police or soldiers, no one can stop us. Yeah. It's amazing, I know you're gonna win. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Let's sing together, Bella Ciao. <laughs> Hey, you see, I just show you, people are reacting, you know, they're replying in, in li a live, you know, in the chat. So, for example, here someone is writing, love to all of you, brave hearts from Hamburg, Germany. Got mad respect uh, for you. Thanks for stream and so and so. And we got what? Yeah, yeah that's live now. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a technology called stream. You know, you just uh, take, uh, download the application and then you just use your. How can I watch and see the comments below? Um, I'm not sure. I know to explain it. Uh, yeah, it is. But, uh, yeah, but it, it's got lots of channels. I'm, I'm focusing now on my channel, but, uh, but there was a hashtag of, of, uh, that, that I published this evening and people know this hashtag, so they know how to find it. Uh, uh, well, I forgot, somebody did it for me. <laughs> it was something like stop attacking, uh, stop attacking Yezi or something like that, but I'm not sure exactly. Is it possible to take your email? Sorry? Your email address? Yeah, why not? But Facebook is better. Yeah, uh, you can tell me your Facebook email address. Okay. Oh, um, my email is uh, y-o-m-g-a-s-h-u-m-u-m uh, uh, at uh, gmail.com. Okay, so I'm going to search you through Facebook. Oh, no, actually, on Facebook, I'm in uh, the same email, but uh, with the Hotmail instead of Gmail. Just to, uh, Okay. Nice talking to you. Okay. Oh, it's serious. This is mine. Yeah, right. Um, Thank you, by the way. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Yeah. Actually, you know, it's thank you. No, really, I, mean, I came a week ago from Israel just because I was watching the, the you know, the amazing uh, photos coming from Istanbul. And I just couldn't be there, you know, my yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They wanted me to come and stream it for them. And they collected money to pay for the ticket and told me, go and be our eyes. And I'm here for a week streaming for them. And I'm so inspired, so you know, I thank you. <laughs> too exciting. Yeah. So guys, you're just listening to a live concert on the stairs to Gezi Park. It's so amazing, really, so amazing. Somebody 
that I think call herself Rita from Canada is saying we sing with you for your freedom of, of, to choose, to speak and to live and can I, can I just as you see. <laughs> what, what, what? Oh, you wanna you wanna print it? <laughs> Capture the photo. Should you? Yeah, okay. Okay, okay man. It's quite amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. And right now we have 103 viewers here. And, uh, by the way, you can see it all. Uh, there is a, um, a channel called Livestream. Uh, this is not my channel, but they're mirroring me. Uh, it's technology. I'm not so good in it. This is it. But, uh, <laughs> I'm just streaming. But, uh, <laughs> no, but there is a uh, www. Uh, uh, Livestream.com uh, and then slash uh, Revolt Istanbul. One word. Revolt Istanbul. Uh, slash Revolt. In one word. In one word. Revolt Istanbul. Revolt. And then you get all the all the people who are streaming now in the in the square. Okay, man. Bye, bye. What's your name? Nice to meet you, man. Bye, bye. Okay. Am I right saying that you're all exciting with me here? This is so beautiful, really, this is so beautiful. The human spirit is, well, always winning. חבר'ה, אם יש לכם תשובה, חברים בישראל שערים בשעה הזאת, תנו להם איזה כפכוף קטן ותזמינו אותם לראות את זה, כי זה באמת מחזה מדהים. אני כבר שבוע פה ואני מרגיש שאני לא מפסיק ללמוד פה כל כך הרבה השראה, כל כך הרבה, לא יודע, עפר לרגליהם בשבוע הזה, באמת, כל פעם מפתיעים אותי מחדש. Guys, somebody is asking if this is Israel or Istanbul. Well, <laughs> this is Istanbul. I'm at Taksim Square now, and what we're seeing is quite amazing because everybody on the camp is waiting for an attack of the police in the coming few hours. But still, people here, in one hand, you know, they're wearing helmets, they're protecting themselves, they're using masks, uh, and are, you know, a bit tense and waiting for an attack. But in the other hand, look what's happening here. Somebody brought here a piano now. And he's playing live music, and people are sitting here, smiling, shining, and winning. Although we don't know what's going to happen this morning with all the brutality of the police shown, you know, presented recently. And I'm an Israeli streamer spending the last week in Istanbul, streaming to you live now. And we have viewers from all over the world with us, and it's so beautiful. מצב שיכול להיות ער בשעה כזאת, מתבקש ממנו להעלות את זה. אני העליתי פוסט לפני כמה שעות שמזמין אנשים לצפות. now live through the internet and people are watching us live in the in the internet and they really like it you see people are writing stuff here see for example oh this song is perfect or uh, uh, wait there are some real nice things people are writing wait I'll show you hold on uh, where was it splendid thanks a lot and uh, people were saying that your old people are brave here and things like that would you like to say something I mean what's how do you feel this evening how do you guys, how do you girls feel this evening? I'm sorry, I'm sorry for you. No, look at me, look at me, and then it's not, then it's less, uh, how do you feel today, this evening? Awesome. Awesome? awesome. Aren't you afraid, you know, the pol aren't you afraid the police is about to attack? Of course not. Of course not. We are enjoying it. Okay. This is so beautiful, really. Thank you. Guys, we're mirrors now, now in some other channels. I'm sorry.
sorry if my English is not perfect. I'm actually an Israeli trying to do my best. And we're getting closer to the piano. Let's see if we see something. It's unbelievably, he's protecting himself with a red helmet and a gas mask is on his chest and he's playing music. <laughs> this is so unbelievably what's going on here, guys. If you joined us now, maybe you don't understand what it means. We are in Taksim Square at the top of the stairs leading to the entrance to Gezi Park. The police is about to attack the park and evacuate the tents in a few hours probably. People are well protected here, wearing helmets, using gas masks, waiting for the attack. But then, half an hour ago, somebody broke the piano all the way up through the stairs and he started playing music. And people are smiling now. And I just ask a girl that says, we're not afraid.
wow, wow. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Look, somebody else is taking the piano now and playing. Şurayı Okay, nice. Look, somebody is switching his helmet with him and gives him a helmet with some music on it. Tones. Tones or notes? I don't know how you say it in English actually. <laughs> I don't know how you feel. I'm just crying here.
Absolutely, guys. Unbelievably, guys. And somebody just wrote the world to see how people are doing their... Wait. It's amazing. A piano recital in Gezi Park. Amazing, amazing, really amazing. A piano recital when the police is surrounding the square and will soon may attack the place. It's unbelievably. And guys, if you have friends who are awake now, please tell them to join us. Tell them to join us because this is music, but this is all very political. The world should see who are the people that the Turkish regime is calling hooligans and is about to attack soon. I don't know what about you, I salute them and their amazing non-violence resistance. that this song says sometimes there should be new beginnings and it's right guys really don't just enjoy this stream share it share it put it on your Facebook pages tell your people tell your friends they should join us
helmets. They're expecting an attack and they're happy, they're smiling, they're singing. Kardeş, bir de girersin havası çağla, dinleyelim. Wow, that's amazing, really. Devam ediyor muyuz? Man, you did a great job. <gülüyor> for me, Argentina.
And uh, the camera was, uh, my, my phone was handed to one of the women here that, uh, you see the woman with the yellow helmet, she was taking the, she was shooting in the five recent minutes, she just wanted, she just asked me to do that, and how beautiful it is, and some people here are crying, you know, from excitement. Was shooting this for me. <laughs> for you, actually. <laughs> Guys, we're already over 1,400 viewers, and I think we could do more because you know it's not about music, it's about.
Bir de oran çal bakayım. <gülüyor> Guys, this is so beautiful, really. You're watching a live recital, a recital at Gazi Park. No, I don't know. We don't know who is he. Just a guy from the camp.
Otur otur. She's playing, she's playing. Hayır hayır hayır. No no. Ciao ciao. This is so amazing. This is so beautiful. People from camp that are waiting for a gas attack and police brutality attack are playing music together. No fear.
was rusting when he's up here. I'm a swimmer for Israel. I arrived to Turkey a week ago to show solidarity with our brothers and sisters who are reporting in such an amazing way here. Awesome, so amazing, you know, so amazing. Somebody just brought, everybody were here tense, wearing helmets, wearing gas masks, waiting for an attack of the police that were supposed to happen already. And then somebody brought a piano. People carried it, all the stairs, all the 19 stairs. By the way, those stairs, I don't know if you know, at the bottom of them, it's written in Turkish, I'm translating it into English. 19 stairs to the edge of fear. You walk up. And we're here at the edge of fear. No fear, just music. And hope and courage. so amazing and so unbelievably the contrast between people wearing helmets including the guy who's playing here the piano and this is so amazing and so exciting last forever, the attack won't come. Imagine.
that is not censoring this revolution has to be. thousands here in the square amazing and in the meantime there is a report about the police attacking protesters in Ankara the capital of Turkey that makes you understand a little bit better what is the meaning of this concert and how special and maybe a miracle it is asking who am I? My name is Avi, I'm a streamer coming from Israel. I was spending the last week here in Istanbul in Camp Gezi with the amazing heroes, hero women and hero men of Park Gezi, showing solidarity. I came from the Israeli revolution movement and we're all, you know, struggling for a new world, a new system. It's my struggle. And Hans TV is wanting to run an interview with him. at Maxim Square and Gezi Park, live.
hurting us on the chat that a heavy attack now on the protesters in Ankara and four people are dead according to this report. says in Turkey, we are all Taksim, we are all resistance, Herrier, Taksim, Herrier, Direniş. zone that the Turkish embassies are still open there you should call them and ask them to stop tell them this is not acceptable send them a fax send them a mail call them ask them to stop this violence against citizens <laughs>
why we're listening and playing music here. People are being hurt in Ankara, and this is. So sad. And this is what expecting those people here, guys. Unless someone will understand. Let's try to join the Ankara means resist Ankara. People are showing solidarity with Ankara now. Diren Ankara, resist Ankara. This is pretty amazing, people. I would say that here. Surrounding the piano and the stairs are about, well, 2,000 people and 2,000 more people are listening through the stream. Irene Ankara, Gezi Yaninda. This is really amazing. We'll try to ask the guy, the, the pianist, the question, maybe a little. Yeah, we also. Yeah, we also need to know his name. <laughs> People are asking. You are online. Guy, you are online. Guy, you are live now on UStream, and about 2,000 people are watching us through the world, and they are all asking, "Who are you?" <laughs> Um, I'm David Martello. I'm coming from Sicily, but I live in Germany. Okay. And I uh, want to show the people a little bit of power to fight for her rights, and yeah, that's it. How long are you stay? Have you stayed in Gezi Park in the in the tent city? I come just. I come today. Okay. Um, so this is my first day here. I don't know what's going on and. The situation is very confusing because yesterday was very crowded and today is like freedom. I don't know. I cannot say how it is. I don't cannot uh, read the mind of the politicians here. Yeah, it's quite amazing. I mean, people were wearing helmets. You actually have you ever dreamed to play a recital wearing helmet in your head and a gas mask? No, I never made it. So if it helps to make freedom, so that's it. I want to share freedom. Yeah. I want to share power and just inspiring the people um, that she they, they have. Yeah. Um, to yeah, fight for her rights. Quite amazing. By the way, I don't know if you know it. At the first stair, you know, you are standing here in the 19th uh, stair of this. You know. I know the people uh, help me. And you know, no, but you know, first they carry the stair, uh, the, the piano, all these 19 stairs. But you know what's written in the first stairs? It's called uh, 19 stairs to the edge of fear. You know, you are standing right where the fear is ending. Oh my gosh! Really? <laughs> wow! I hope I, I hope the people. Can share this freedom with me, so I want to give her the people so many, so many energy to 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 fight for her rights and fight for her, yeah, for freedom. So yeah. it's very amazing about that what you're saying me about. So yeah, I don't know about the history in Turkey, but I want to just make music and music instead of words. That's my philosophy. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so Thank much. We don't fear. Yeah. Don't Thank fear. you too. We don't fear. Yeah. Okay. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So the concert is over. You know, I was wondering if this concert never ends. Maybe nobody is going to attack.
I was wondering if this concert is go on and go on. Maybe the police will not attack because they cannot stop this music. Unfortunately, um, from the social media, we don't. I hope they hear you. You can hear me. I think they can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as far as I know, from social media, police is waiting to attack. You can see the uh, the police cars. Training and they're gonna end up this amazing, amazing, such inspiring recital here in Gezi Park and Taksim Square, just in between. You see those stairs? These are the stairs, and this is the last stair, actually, one before. Yeah, my helmet. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, one of the most amazing streaming I've ever had, and I had some. Man, maybe once again, just your name for the people who are asking. What? Your name. your name again for the people who are asking. Davide Martello. Davide Martello from Italy. Sicily. From Sicily. From Sicily. Davide Martello from Sicily. Thank you so much. And yeah. can we follow you from yeah. Oh, sorry. We have to carry down the. You see, and the concert is finished, and they're all carrying down the the the, the, the piano, including the pianist. The bass means slowly, slowly. Look, they're just carrying the piano now. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Herrier Taksim, Herrier Duranish. We're all Taksim, we're all resistance. This is just unbelievable. Look, they're just carrying the piano downstairs. Yeah. Um, can you write it down? My, my username name is... Uh, uh, it's difficult to remember, I mean, I can tell you, but uh, you should write it down. I think I have a pen, but uh, just a second. 
Unbelievably, and it starts raining here. And the future is not so shiny as that last beautiful hour. As we know of the police attacking the demonstrators in Ankara, people are wounded, some reports about even people that died. I don't know if it's true. And we're all expecting an attack of the police on Gezi Park this night or very early in the morning. And guys, those of you who ask me who I am, well, my name is Avi, and oh, <laughs> I don't believe it. My pants are falling down and I'm streaming and somebody just pulled them up. <laughs> uh, this is solidarity, this is the networking, even this. Some people help me streaming sometimes. And um, so, my name is Avi, I came from Israel. Like this pianist who came from Sicily to present his solidarity, I came a week ago from Israel. I was living here in a camp with the people. And there is a beautiful initiative here called Revolt Istanbul, which pulls together a few streamers in one platform. I think that most of our viewers are from this platform, I'm not sure about that. Uh, my viewers, I mean, are watching me on uh, Ustream, but uh, Revolt Istanbul is in live stream. You do www.livestream.com slash, one minute, um, well, once again, www.livestream.com slash Revolt Istanbul in one world. Words, words. <laughs> Revolt Istanbul in one word. And then you're going to see an amazing work of streaming. Few streamers are using this platform, and there is a monitoring of those broadcastings altogether. <laughs> It's quite amazing, and we're getting close to the police now. You know, we are in Taksim Square. The concert, the recital was in the top of the squares. Uh, what happened to my English? At the top of the, of the stairs, uh, just in the entrance to Gezi Park, a meter from a barricade that the demonstrators built there before the expected attack of the police. And now, this piano, it's just a few meters from the police that is just over there. You see the police? I'll show you the police. So you'll see what a concert you've just listened to. Here we are in the monument of Ataturk and the Turkish modern revolution. This is the heart of Taksim Square. And look, the police is here. With their shields. Hey, did you like the concert? No, no, take me. Okay, okay. They don't like us to talk with them, but I'm sure they also listen to the concert. You see, they're also young people. And I'm sure something touched their hearts, but unfortunately, in our cynical world, you know, commands are above heart feeling, and who knows how this night will end. Let's pray. And if you're living in time zone where it's still daylight and your Turkish embassy is still working, still open, you must, guys, you must call them. Call them and tell them to stop. Stop what's happening now in Ankara and in other cities in Turkey and call them and ask them, demand them that this is not acceptable and it won't be acceptable here in Istanbul, in Taksim Square and in Gezi Park later tonight. <laughs> this is of course only a, a fragment of the amount of police men that are here in the square, the big square. If we go a few more steps, you're going to see some water cannons here. And you're going to see that they are all well equipped. You see the police?
and you see probably in the distance some white cars you probably don't see them very well I don't want to get too close but these are the Tomas that's how they call them here the Tomas are the water cannons that are spraying the people with water and not only water but also some chemicals in it that's what people are telling me I was here the last week and yesterday there was an attack the you know the heroes of Gezi Park were occupying this square for about 10 days or even more than 10 days I think almost two weeks and during these two weeks this square was occupied the police was down from here and the roads were all closed by amazing and inspiring barricades the protesters built here and yesterday those barricades were dismantled and the police attacked the place in the morning clashing with the demonstrators and uh, conquering again they would say release but I would say conquering the, the, the liberated the square and uh, putting you know removing all the banners the beautiful banners and the beautiful um, graffitis that were here expressing the democracy the desire for democracy the desire for a better future of Turkey I'm sorry I'm speaking only English okay and now they promise that if you know the square will be um, the roads will be open again and the they will give up the square then the government will not harm the people in Gezi Park and will let them stay there for a while although Erdogan emphasized that he's not gonna abolish the program to build a mall on the this amazing park an inspiring park but today the mayor of Istanbul declared that those people who are in the those people that you just saw a few minutes ago listening to recital and singing and crying and smiling and wearing helmets and those people he considered them as hooligans and uh, he said he's going to treat them like this and anyone who's not evacuating himself from the garden will be treated very harm harsh <laughs> so um, there was a very tense evening and tense night until this piano came out of nowhere and changed the atmosphere and you have all seen and joined and felt what it made people feel at the edge of fear <laughs> once again for those of you who are curious who is this man who's talking to you and you don't know <laughs> well it's not important that much of if you're asking I'll just tell that my name is Avi I live in Tel Aviv Israel I'm part of the Israeli movement quite similar to this one but the Israeli movement of revolution and social change we've been through this through uh, already two years in Turkey it's new now but it's also dependent on uh, quite amazing history of revolting and doing stuff and I've been here for the last week with these people these amazing people there wasn't a day I wasn't find myself you know crying for a moment just because of an amazing inspiration every day I learn here from these amazing people you've just seen a fragment of this and I think it's enough to understand what amazing things are happening here in Gezi Park and I cannot understand how the government of Turkey is attacking its citizens instead of listening to them and opening a dialogue with them and see how they work together for a better future for Turkey as any other country in the world there is a new generation that wants a better future you see here the barricade at the edge of fear what you see now is a car a police car that was uh, conquered <laughs> I don't know the word in English but you know two weeks ago when the police was attacking in the beginning of this protest this revolution here at uh, Taksim Square 
the protesters fought them and uh, they took this car and they made out of it what you see now. It's only one of the cars, there were many like this, there were even buses of police that were taken and transformed know. into this. You all know. What? Uh, this, uh, you want to say it? Well, no, 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 you don't want to? <laughs> okay, okay. What, what, man? Okay. What? Uh, this is beautiful uh, type. What do you mean? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's yes. very beautiful. Yeah. Did you like the concert? Yes. It was beautiful, huh? Um, it was beautiful, beautiful, the concert. Beautiful, no, no life. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. And you see another car upside down. Symbolic in a way. Whew, that was an amazing evening and it still goes on. People who still had to stand in front of the police. Let's see what's going up on up there. This is one of those moments you don't want them to end. Usually it's because of the great music. Here it was also because of another reason. As long as the music goes on, the gas and water cannon and all the rest of instruments the police is about to use, as it used yesterday and as it used the two weeks, the two recent weeks, they wouldn't dare to implement them. I think we should all open up our minds and horizons all over the world, including my country, Israel. We are too fixed in what we know and we're not opened into new ideas, into trust, into compromising. And this is a great evening of inspiration. And the protesters are standing right now in front of the police calling Tayyip Istifa, which is in Turkish, Erdogan resign. Let me say goodnight to my friends in Israel that were watching us and chatting with us in Hebrew. Laila Tov, Chavarim Sheli. Sakan Bemet Shidur Madhim. Ani rak fatahti matzema va amadti sham. Kizu pashut kara. וזה הכיף של זה, המשימה עברה ידיים ולאנשים שעזרו לצלם, זה היה מרגש, כולם ישר הבינו עניין ועשו את מה שעושים הקונצרט נמשך, הוא רק שינה פאזה, הוא עכשיו ריקודים כורדים And this is a Kurdish ethnic dancing and music played here on Taksim Square just two meters from the water cannon you can see right there hold on see? see guys this is a water cannon it's called Toma this is the water cannon you see it's turned on all the evening you know you can hear the engine working and this Toma is waiting for the command to attack the people that's exactly what they're gonna do no, the broadcaster doesn't know Turkish. The broadcaster is an Israeli, came to Turkey to show solidarity with you people. You know that we have some tension, or we had some tension between our two governments, but who cares about governments? The people are the same people, and we are the all, you know, we're in all over the world, we are those 90... <laughs> what happened to my English? Let me articulate myself and say it again. You know, we are all the 99%, and our leaders are the 1%, and the world is ours. This is what, this is what the... This is what this revolution is all about. What, man? You want to say something? What is it? So much Ventolin. Oh my God. What is it for? Why? I must speak English. You speak English? I must speak English. Okay, but look at this. <laughs> Amazing. And look. Check, Kaka. Check. Doctor. 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 Doctor? Yes, yes. Oh, awesome. yeah. 
I mean, you, want, you look at them and you just want to cry knowing what's going to happen here soon. This is for <laughs> helping people who get hurt by eyes. I mean, in the eyes by tear gas. Well, somebody was asking how long I'm going to stay here. Actually, I had to go back home in Monday. I had a ticket, unrefundable ticket to Monday. And I couldn't go in Monday. I just stayed. I just ripped my ticket and said, I'm staying. I'm going with my heart and staying here because those people are my brothers and sisters. And then I was planning to fly tomorrow, tomorrow evening. But I don't know yet. I guess I'll decide only in the very last moment. My heart is telling me to stay a little bit more. seeing now is Kurdish music and Kurdish dancing here also part of this revolution many groups that were suppressed many years are now in the main square of Istanbul and somebody's telling me this is Anatolian music and not Kurdish Sorry guys, I'm not from here, that's what I thought, but we're listening to some Anatolian. Anatolia is the historic heart of Turkey, and we're listening to some Anatolian music. Thank you, thank you for correcting me. At the peak of this stream, streaming, we had over 2,000 viewers from all over the world, which is quite amazing because in the square, I think we had pretty much the same amount of people and we just accomplished each other. You know, every heart in the stairs here met a heart in another country or in another city in Turkey that was beating with us, praying with us, hoping with us, crying with us. Oh, sorry, sorry. Some people are asking me if I can see what you write. Yeah, I can see what you write, but the, the, there is a quite amazing stream of chatting, so, I mean, of, cha of, of things that people are writing, because, you know, guys, you are 2,000 people, and many people reacted to what we've just seen, so it was a little bit difficult to always follow or to react, especially, uh, I mean, to reply, and especially during, you know, the time that this amazing Sicilian man was playing his music, so I was just seeing it, and... Um, Next to me were always few Turkish people that helped me with the camera and I was just letting them see that and so how excited they got so you know your words had a meaning and they met some people who saw them and get excited of them. I was also excited and this evening was really an amazing one. Whew, I really don't know how or what can we do to stop what is about to happen pretty soon here in Taksim and what is already happening in Ankara and maybe in some other cities in Istanbul, eh, in Turkey, now. <laughs> Thank you. 
People are asking if they can rehear the Taksim concert. Well, they can hear it. I will probably try to put it on uh, YouTube when I uh, get back home to Israel. But uh, even until then, you can see it in my uh, channel in Ustream. Let me give you the, uh, let me spell it to you. And if someone uh, is fast enough to write it here, it will help other people to write it down and maybe find it. It's quite easy. You should Google uh, Ustream. I don't know. I actually, I'm sorry, but I don't know the, uh, the entire uh, address. Uh, it's Ustream, www.ustreamtv, I think. Uh, dot com if I'm not wrong maybe without dot com I don't know but anyway it's very easy to find the Ustream application uh, I mean the Ustream site in uh, Google and then they ask you for a channel you want to search okay and then comes my name so what you should write down is Yom Gashum 1 I will spell it for you it's by the way Yom Gashum in Hebrew means rainy day I'm a man of rain and I really like it so uh, it's like rainy day and the number one so uh, it goes like that. Yom Gashum is Y O M, like Mama. Y O M, G A S, like Sisi. <laughs> uh, well, I got confused. Again, Yom Gashum is Y O M, G A S H U M, and then one. Okay, in one word. Yom Gashum. Y O M G A S H U M. One. This is my channel, and you're gonna find it there. Maybe the title is in Hebrew now, I'll try to switch it into English, but you probably won't miss it, it's there. Oh yeah, now somebody's writing for me the, the correct address, it's Ustream, as you hear it, dot .tv. Oh, wait a second, I'll try to do that. Wait, somebody wrote it for me. Yeah, okay, it goes like that. Oh shit, <laughs> sorry for the words. Um, whenever you chat, you know, it's, it runs and I cannot really present it, but anyway, you see, you see it probably. Hold on. Yeah, it's Ustream. Well, <laughs> I cannot do that from here, but anyway, you're going to find it. If you go to Ustream, search my name, it's Yom Gashum 1, Y-O-M-G-A-S-H-U-M 1. You're going to see this concert, you're going to, and you can do whatever you want from it. You know, it belongs to the people, it doesn't belong to me. No copyrights, nothing, it's open, use it, distribute it, it's yours. Yeah, we're probably gonna uh, stream tomorrow as well, I don't know, you know, last night was a terrible night. I kind of eated, if it's the right word to use, so much tear gas yesterday. There was a moment I was coming here to the square, everything was happy after a long and quite tough day. Thousands of thousands of people arrived the square to celebrate the yeah. resistance and the determination and saying we're not going to move even though you took Taksim Square from us. And there were we're about to kind of celebrate it with a beautiful and colorful demonstration and then something happened about two or three people threw some stones but i don't know you know some people say they even were provocators but even if they were not you know so what so people threw some stones on those thomas those shielded cars with the water cans at the top of them and then out of nothing they just threw gas on us they just bombed us with gas into an audience of 2,000, 20,000 people. I don't know, I mean, I don't know how many people were here, but there were plenty of them, okay? The, 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 the square was really packed by people. I was there with nothing, you know, because I just came uh, for a second to, uh, to take a photo, a happy photo, and put it on my Facebook, and then go back to, the, to my tent. And then it catched me, just in front of me, amazing amount of gas, and uh, people were, you know, choking, choking next to me. Me too, I fell down. Uh, couldn't breathe, couldn't see. <laughs> I thought that this is my end for about 30 seconds, but then somebody tossed a hand and pulled me up and took me. And after maybe a minute, you know, they have this solution. They're spraying into your eyes and to your tongue, and then hold on a second, and then uh, you're just uh, 
And then you just... Quickly. What? Quickly. What quickly? Quickly. What quickly? Okay. Next stop. Next stop. Why? Next stop. Why? You are you shutting me. I'm not shutting yeah, you. No, I'm yeah. not. I'm not shutting you, man. I'm doing... You know what I'm doing? I'm a journalist and we're doing... I'm journalist. Okay. I, I, I am didn't think yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but don't be nervous. Nothing in purpose. I didn't even see it. That's okay, man. You see? Look, look, look. Can I show you something? Okay, you can take a photo of me. This is fine. Thanks. Somebody would get, got angry at me. I don't know why. But anyway. So anyway, I just told you this story just to understand what a beautiful solidarity there is here always. People are helping each other all the time. Sometimes it is you who help and sometimes people help you when you need, you need. This is part of this amazing atmosphere here. God knows why Erdogan is so opposing it and want to stop it no matter what price is going to be paid. Okay guys, I think we'll end it now. Um, I'm probably gonna be streaming later tonight if things will happen, but let me keep some battery and uh, by the way, uh, those of those who watches us, watches me from Israel, are already familiar with the problems of battery I had here. But today, somebody gave me one of the, uh, you know, it, it became like a cooperative of uh, streamers here, and one of them just brought me this one, this amazing thing. It's an outsourcing battery that is like eight times more than a regular battery. <laughs> it was in my pocket, in the middle of the concert. I understood that if I'm not connecting it. There will be no concert streamed, and thanks to that, you watch it without even one failure of the broadcast. Thank you so much, guys. It was a pleasant evening, and uh, it's so straightening to, 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 to feel this energy coming from every corner in the world to those amazing, brave, courageous, inspiring people revolting here. The reason that brought me here, I guess, brought you to the broadcast, to the stream today, tonight. And it's the inspiration, the amazing inspiration and understanding that this time it's in Turkey, it was in Spain, it was in Greece, it's still in Spain, it's still in Greece, it's in Israel, it's in Tunisia, it's in Egypt. And it happens all over the world because we want to change this world to be a better place for us. No more leaders who work for themselves and for those who are close to them and who are close to them and doesn't care about don't care about us, the 99%. And you're probably familiar with this language if you're in any occupy group in the world or any similar group that is holding this agenda. Hey, hey. You want to say something, man? You know English? No, English. Never mind, never mind. But you do this, no? Yeah, yeah, man, victory. Okay, guys. Um, thank you so much everybody and uh, I hope I won't need to open up this cellular phone again and stream from the square or from the park tonight. I hope nothing is going to happen but all the people here who understand something says that are saying that no chance that won't be an attack this dawn or this morning or God knows when. And you're just listening to the people calling Taip Istifa. Taip is one of the names of Erdogan, and Istifa means resign. Good night, everybody. And thanks a lot in the name of all the people in the square and in the park for your amazing solidarity with us here in Istanbul, in Gezi Park and Taksim Square. Have a pleasant night if it's night in your time zone or have a pleasant afternoon or whatever it is, wherever you are.
one day we're gonna win.